So now we have equations that govern the rates of change of the position and the velocity. The rate of change of the position is the velocity and the rate of change of the velocity is the acceleration, which is by Newton's law force divided by mass. And in a typical setting we also know the position at time zero and the velocity at time zero. Now we are going to use the computer to learn what these equations are leading to. And the easiest way for doing so is called the forward Euler method. The most complex thing with that method may be the name of Euler. Euler was born in Basel, Switzerland, that is. Most people these days use the German pronunciation of his name, Euler, even though the Swiss pronunciation may be different from that. And in the US you may also hear the pronunciation Euler. I try to stick to the pronunciation Euler, but forgive me if I from time to time fall back into saying Euler. Euler's idea was to solve these equations by walking in small time steps. If we start at the initial position x of zero and the initial velocity v of zero, what would happen after a short time span we call h? The position would approximately increase by h times the velocity. If the velocity is two meters per second and we wait for three seconds, we will be changing the position by six meters, for instance but of course we're using a much smaller time step. Similarly for the velocity, after some small time h, the velocity will be its original value plus the time step times the acceleration, which is f over m. So these equations will take us from time zero to time h, approximately. I'm cheating a little when I write equal signs here. In the same fashion, we can get from time h to time 2h doing another step. This is what the second step looks like. We know the position that we have reached at the end of the first step and we continue with a new velocity and that results in the new position. Similarly for the velocity. You iterate this process over and over again and find estimates for positions and velocities as you go.